usually when some new synthesizer or plugin is about to drop, the big channels get a sneak peek on the new gear several weeks to a month before it is released, so that they have some time to make videos and the hype train is ready to head down the tracks. Okay, but surely one of these trains is less lame than the other, right? No. My channel isn't nearly big enough for the world to take notice, so I'm not part of that gig. So I'll see you guys in Topeka, okay? <gasps> but every once in a while, something new and different comes along that is unheralded. Something that lurks in the depths, not noticed by the world around it. Well, this is one of those things, and... Very cool, Master. Very scary. Thank you. I didn't come across this masterpiece of a plug-in by Ben Osterhaus through the normal channels. In fact, I never would have known about it except for hitting an off-chance post on another social media site, which took me to the Osterhaus Sounds website run by this guy. After doing a little digging, I found out that Ben is a fellow northerner and a cellist over at the University of Northwestern in St. Paul, Minnesota, and, more importantly, a creator of some pretty unique contact instruments. His latest work came out around a month ago, and by the look of the video count, it hasn't gotten a huge amount of attention. Well, I want to help Ben out, because this plugin is fantastic. So I've included a link to Osterhaus Sounds and his YouTube channel, where you can listen to more samples of what this thing can do. What does it do, you ask? Well, just watch and listen for a moment. This is fun to play, cool to watch, and it sounds great the trifecta of what you want in a plugin. Let's break down the facts. It's a contact player instrument, but you will need version 7.3.2 to run it, so make sure you are up to date on your version. It has 30 presets with several different built-in samples, and you can drag and drop in your own samples. Most importantly, however, it has a random button. C Sampler is probably most similar to a particle engine synth, but unlike other particle engines that just play one sound, this can play any variety of sounds you throw at it. Each of these bubbles is a sample, and you can size them and drag them around, delete them, and add new samples. The samples don't have to be the same. You can mix in percussive sounds with violins, tubas, and electric guitars to get a crazy random orchestra that would make Jeff Lynne jealous. What? If you want this to mimic a traditional particle engine, just add a bunch of bubbles that are the same and change each one to be a different octave and or semitone according to specific scales if you like. You can change the ADSR curve of each bubble here. Each sound also has a filter slider, and there are five different reverb algorithms here. Basically, it's a build your own particle engine system. Here's the really cool part. Press any key and out comes a spaceship. Well, maybe Ben didn't get to play asteroids growing up, so he calls them fish. Probably also because it fits in with the whole under the sea theme. A dingle hopper. Anyways, these fish are controllable. Want more or fewer fish? Change the total fish count here. Want to move the fish around? Grab the little white spawn point and drag it around. Want to speed up the fish? Crank the pitch bend to the right. Moving it to the left slows them down. Want more fish? Roll that mod wheel all the way up. The four sliders at the top are for controlling the fish AI. Visual range determines how far the fish can see to swim towards or away from their mates. A higher centering value means that the fish will cluster around each other more and act like an actual school of fish. A low value means that they will Fleetwood Mac it and go their own way. Add a high alignment and they will all swim the same speed and match direction. A high avoidance means that the fish try to stay away from each other, whereas low avoidance means that they are pretty much on top of each other a lot. A couple of combos that create interesting results include a high visual range, centering, and alignment with low avoidance. This keeps the fish together 
and you get almost a strumming pattern at each bubble. A high visual range and avoidance, and low centering and alignment, creates a firework type effect. Sound-wise, the included samples are all top-notch. You can set this up to sound like wind chimes or random violins playing, and it's all very realistic. The UI is clean, and the spaceship, uh, I mean, sea theme, is very cool looking and easy to understand. There are a ton of creative things you can do with this, but I would love to see the next iteration. Adding some LFOs to the bubbles, for instance, would be incredible, and adding waves or currents to guide the fish would also be really powerful. I'm not sure if any of this is possible, as Ben has really pushed the envelope with this design, but I can't wait to see if it is. I ask myself, why do I like the synth so much? I mean, it probably has a somewhat limited use. For ambient music, it's fantastic. Also good for glitch, lo-fi, modern jazz, and some electronica. Other genres, you might not get much mileage out of it, unless you are experimental. And maybe that's why I like it so much. It's that adventurous, what's around the next corner side of me that wants to just play with this thing to see what it does next. It's also an ingenious way of taking the particle engine philosophy to the next level, and I'm giving Osterhaus Sounds three awards for this plugin. It gets a bang for your buck award, since it's only $30, a sound quality seal, and the Crafty Fox Ingenuity Award. That's it for today. If you want to dive into the Seaworthy plugin, the link to Osterhaus Sounds is in the description. Stay ship shape, hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.